Greetings and welcome back everyone to <laughs> Medusa's Rafting Room World Alpha 16 where Liara from the Great River Covenant was wandering nearby and noticed that we could use some help. He would like to join our colony. He has the traits of Optimist and Jealous. That's an interesting combination, but no, we don't need your help right now. I noticed that Jaradan has a construction jacket. That is super amazing, though it's a shoddy one, but construction speed, mining speed, and smoothing speed all plus 20%. Very, very happy to see that. Now, the eclipse is over, so we're gaining power once again, and Jaradan just decided he'd enjoy a smoke leaf chant there. But, in this episode, the very first thing I would like to do is actually make a sculptor's table. We can pop that right over there. This is how we wanted to set this area up from the onset, so we'll get that going, and we'll actually start to uh, make some nice furnishings to go around the colony, and just generally pull everyone's mood up a little bit. Uh, Jonathan is getting on with the research. It could be a little bit faster, and maybe I should expand that out. We can have someone else in there helping with that. Al Young is doing an amazing job of keeping this colony nice and uh, nice and well maintained. Really, has someone been without a bed this whole time? I wonder. That's quite possible, actually. And also, that one no longer needs to be. That one's going to be for prisoners, I think. Um, other than that, I think we're doing reasonably well as is. I would like a prosthetics room, though. This is going to be a fairly important room for the colony. It's basically, I really want to get into the prosthetics a bit more than I did last time. So we're going to probably have a reasonable sized room, I'm going to say. We'll build that out there. I also want some lighting in here, if we can get it. Uh, maybe a, just a lamp there, for example. We'll have a plant pot there, plant pot here. We'll also smooth this floor out going up. There we go. And that'll just generally keep this little area a little bit nicer for people. Now that this is built, I would like... Um, let's get... Let's have a look at what we can make. No, 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 no. See, see, I don't want to... I want to actually, I don't, a jade plant pot would be kind of nice. But no, 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 no. Uh, we are not going to be using any of these. No, absolutely not. Stone only. Thank you very much. I would like you to do until we have five. Always maintain a stock of five. And then... Ornate square, uh, sorry, that was the last one. Ornate plant pot, exactly the same qualities. All of these turned off, and we will have until we've got five of them in stock. So that way we can always um, have some more about the colony. Next up, I would like... Um, let's start off with small sculptures. And once again, only make these out of stone blocks, please. But I would like a good number. Make 20 small sculptures. First, make some ornate plant pots, and I'll start replacing the ones that I've just got about. Because the nice thing about the ornate plant pots is it uses up uh, some space I was already using for something that does that function, but just makes it nicer still. So that's actually quite a, quite a cool one, in my opinion. Uh, as for the hay grass, growing eh, slowly, I'll be honest with you. It's not growing fast. How is our... Oh, the fertilizer is very, very nearly done. That is super good. Very, very happy with that indeed. Very happy with that indeed. Uh, generally speaking, I'm hoping that we're going to see some more activity up there. We are actually clearing out this little room fairly quickly. Uh, let's see. We're working on... The fine meals are all made. And now we're working on just the regular meals. So, there we are. It probably would be worth my while if I had a little freezer here that just accepted the uh, meals, but then got hauled away. I wonder if that's even possible. Let me have a quick look at this. The bills, do these affect anything? Allowed cooking, ingredient radius. It'll only take ingredients from nearby. Take to best stockpile or drop on floor. I mean, I could have them drop it on the floor, honestly. Hmm. And then someone could just come along and pick them up. I'm not against that in theory, though I don't like the idea of it just being dropped on the floor. So what I'll do is I'll put a counter there. And maybe this counter can be used to, to hold 
be... Uh, let's not have that as gathering spot, shall we? No. No, please, stop. Ah, uh, scallywags. Everyone is... No, this, this is meant for being a cooking counter, you derps. Uh, well. We'll see, though. Um, hopefully someone will come along and start actually cooking. Uh, at some point, we can we can observe if that works. Veronica is doing some research. How is everything done up here? Oh, very well done. Ooh, that's a little bit worrisome. Uh, there's a gap over there. Let's go ahead now, though. And I would like the entrance into this area to be right at the top of this room. And pop that door in. Get just a regular metal tile floor. And we will clean this out. There we go. At this point, I'm actually thinking it might be worthwhile building a couple of extra bedrooms, to be perfectly honest. Maybe maybe setting up some bedrooms deeper in the colony, which are nice. Then I could just have this being more of a prison area. In fact, I could build it out in either direction and have just like four individual prison rooms, maybe. That would actually not be a bad idea, in my humble opinion. Uh, all right, so let's let's start marking this sort of area out. Let's if we dig even deeper, we we are going to run the risk of bumping heads with more insects. But there's a part of me that doesn't mind that possible. Okay, there we go. There's a part of me that doesn't really mind that possibility. Uh, we will. Decommission this wall, since this is just going to be a corridor going through there. Boom rat self-tamed. Oh, well, that's lovely. Um, you can come and live in the animal area with us. And Oh, we've got a muffalo. Fantastic. We've got more turkeys as well. Everything must be tamed. Every single little thing. Dark Havoc is taming many of the turkeys. This is his grand time. Dark Havoc, what is your taming skill? Because basically once you're at six. There, there we are. There we are. We've got it. We've finally done it. Dark Havoc has been working on this for a long, long time. I'm kind of tempted to have Dark Havoc to continue doing this, honestly, because, uh, you know, Dark Havoc likes animals. I mean, he'll eat animals. He'll eat people. He doesn't like people as much as he likes animals. He doesn't like anything as much as he likes Yoko, which is why we did all of this. Yoko, you are now bonded with your master and everything in the universe is well again. There we go. Yoko's master plus five. Being bought together with my bonded animal makes me feel better. That is wonderful. I want to assign. I wish I could assign that to Yoko specifically. I really do. Uh, you know what I could do though. <laughs> Yoko could be allowed everywhere but in here, and this area would be allowed. Uh, all animals would not be allowed in Dark Avenue's room except for Yoko. That is one way we could do it. And it's genuinely what we need to do. It'd be silly to do it that way. I'm not going to bother, but that, that would have been funny. Uh, right, okay. So at this point, I am going to uh, allow other people to get back to taming. Because there's a lot of people who are a lot better at this uh, than the Dark Avac, to be perfectly honest. Um, Dark Avac, your primary job is as a... Um, is as a surgeon, and that's fine, honestly. Um, Sleepy Joe, you know, yeah, okay. Sleepy Joe, you can you can join in this, but you're only going to have a three. Dark Avex's job is going to be very focused on taking care of animals. Um, Nebula Bomb, you are amazing at taming animals, so you're you're going to full on have a two with that. There you go. And as you actually get some benefit of it, you can have a three as well. Uh, in fact, you can have a four, I'm going to say. Yeah, I'm going to leave Dark Avac on too, I think. Uh, that is wonderful. I'm really happy with that. We are running low on power, though. It is actually going down overall. So it's time for us to add in a separate power plant. And in fact, I'm s certainly thinking about adding in a fuels generator. Um, we could just even pop it over here. Uh, uh, or maybe even just down there, just like hooked up, just out, out of the way, out of, out of mind, out of sight. Uh, but no, I think I'll have a little generator there. Let's make a little stockpile zone for wood. Very specific to this generator. Storage. The only thing I want in here is wood. Foods is not allowed. Raw resources. And where are you? Wood. Down there. There we go. This should be an important stockpile zone. Furthermore, I would like this to have a roof over it at this point. There we are. 
Let's make sure that that area is properly smoothed out. There we go. And we'll actually put a perimeter, I think. Let's go for more floors. We'll also have a stone perimeter just going up there. There we go. Um, that, that should work, in my opinion. That, that'll be pretty good. Got plenty of, of wood that we can store there. And then that can just top us up when needed. I can, I can shut it down when I don't want it active. And then turn around when I do. That should be okay. There we go. And someone should be able to just hook that up in a moment. Now, these batteries currently are not in the best setup, in my humble opinion. I think we can do this setup a little bit better. In fact, I also think we need more batteries. So let's dig this out to about here, I'm going to say. Um, yeah, to about there. We're not going to put all of the batteries in there. We're going to actually set these up in a slightly different way. Some of my batteries are going to take power at night, and other batteries are going to take power in the day. So that I've got two separate banks, and they will toggle with the day-night switch. So that in the day, I'm going to have a larger bank of batteries. It charges up from my solar power in the day. And then I'm going to have a bank of batteries that just charges up at night from my fuel generators and my, my um, windmills that will hopefully be enough. Uh, it may not work the way I'm thinking. I might, I might need to go through some sort of... See, I would love it if I had some sort of conditional switch. If power is below a certain amount, allow power through. But we don't. We have to... The best we can do is have some sort of... Ah, wait. I could have a manual toggle. That makes sense. That way I could, I could initially charge the batteries with a healthy store of power. Yes, I'm liking this idea. I'm liking this idea a lot. Because that way I've got an automatic um, backup battery setup. So let's go ahead, build all of these. Uh, then I want to move you over there. You down there. And we will have one more battery in here. Now that will allow us to get a switch in here. I'll have two switches. One will switch the, the day-night. The other will run on the, the main toggle. The manual toggle, rather. That should actually work. So, once all of that is set up, now it's going to cause us a little bit of issue. In fact, let me, let me just... Um, can I cancel that for now? I don't want to accidentally move these. Let me get these batteries built first, and then I'll move them across. I'll spend the tiny little bit of power that is required to move that across there. Then I'm going to have a day-night switch that will hook up this side of the battery setup to here. And we'll run the power along there, and down, in fact. There we go. And we'll also even have a light in here as well. So I think it's important to do that. Um, though ideally I would like the light not to be connected to a battery. So with that in mind, let's move these batteries along. Then I can have the light there connected to the power here instead. There's a few things that I'm, I'm working on in my head and this is not something that I've, I've done before. So it's going to be an interesting one, I think. It may, may not work, and it may work, but we'll see. Okay, visitors. A group from the Grey River Covenant are visiting the colony. Fantastic. Hopefully, they really enjoy our hospitality. Now then, we have got a number of people who aren't too bad at chatting with people. I would like you to be... Um, allow buying items in area. Try to entertain. Don't try to recruit. Um... Should we have them only in the home area? Maybe I should only have them in the guest area. I don't know. Uh, hmm. Let's not allow them to buy items in this area. I think having them only in the home area, though, is good. And then make that the default. There we go. Now, if I actually set up a guest suite with some... Um, joy items, that sort of thing. In fact, let's go ahead and build a joy item in there. And that would be one thing. We'll pop that there. We'll have some stools. Furniture will get... Uh, yeah, sure, we'll have some marble stools in as well. Have we got any ornate plant pots? Have we actually made any yet? 
Not sure if we will have. No, none yet. That's fine. We're just hanging out at the moment. Just enjoying yourselves, hopefully. Nebula Bomb isn't in the best mood at the moment. It's got plenty of muffalos. Let's get all of these being trained. Well, they are gobbling down a lot of our plants, which is kind of annoying, but oh well. Not a lot we can do about that. Well, it is actually. We could even we just kill them off. Uh, how much food have we got? We've still got quite a lot. Um, another turkey has been tamed. I'm probably going to allow Dark Havoc to just continue. We, we're going to keep working on the taming for now. And there's a party being organized. Dark Havoc is throwing a party. Everyone who goes will gain joy and social energy and a lasting positive mood boost. That is fantastic because that party is being held in their room. I'm hoping this will affect them as well. Joy is super high, very comfortable, spacious interior, somewhat depressed. Rec room. Um, hospitality. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. We do need to clean this room though. It's a bit bit dirty. We've got a lot of people who just don't have anywhere to sleep, which isn't great. We can see about that though. Uh, Alien, would you mind cleaning this room up for me? That would be amazing. Thank you. Okay, got a new muffalo. Continue to tame them all. Major breakpoint. Why are you unhappy? Don't you like taming things? Cooked cannibalism, rebuffed. Eight without a table, uncomfortable, awful bed. What do you mean, awful bedroom? Where is your bedroom? Oh, yeah, your bedroom. Pretty dirty, actually. Okay, well, it, it looks better now. Come on, cheer up. Oh, raid, really? That's unfortunate. Let me go ahead and build a plant pot in here just to cheer you up a bit, Nebula Bomb. Right, as for... Well, we need also get a little bit more lighting in there. As for this raid, they'll prepare for a while, then attack. Okay, that's good. Hopefully no one is going outside. That's a fair old raid, though. That is quite a chunky raid, to be fair. Hmm... Not super happy with that. Okay, Sleepy Joe is improving the relationship with uh, people amongst the guests. Let's have, have a quick look at this. Uh, does not know or like your colonists enough. Well, that's fine. Socially, yeah, you're, you're okay. I don't think Sleepy Joe's even there. Well, actually, no, you're, you're so, slowly bringing that up. Now you've got a couple of neutral interactions there. Oh, no, worsened, worsened. No, why? Why? Sleepy Joe, stop talking with people. Sleepy Joe, stop talking with people. I need him to, I need him to, to, to try at the very least. This person in the mall. Oh no. This is terrible. Um, we'll see. We'll see how this all plays out. Yeah, they, they are worsening. Uh, but, you know, I want this. Uh, I want them to get better at doing this. Right, they're beginning their assault now. Okay, time for everyone. Defensive positions, please. Go, go, go. Is anyone not going? Nebula Bomb is not going. Nebula Bomb does not have a place to go, apparently. Get over there, Nebula Bomb. Jarodan does not have a place to go, apparently. Get over there, Jarodan. There we go. Now then, with everyone in position, this is where I want you to be. There we go. Now then. Oh, actually, now I want them to be set. There we go. Now, we'll see if that uh, method there will actually help. Against tribes, people, this, this killing pit is quite potent against anyone, but the... Anyone who doesn't have snipers, basically. Though, my uh, turrets are actually in danger, which is interesting. They are in danger from the bow wielders. But anyone else has to get way too close and then the turret just rip them to shreds. Well done, everyone. That was a very good little fight. Undrafted. Now, are any of them still alive? No, none of them are. Okay, well, that's fair enough. Let's go ahead and we will unforbid everything. Go ahead, bring things in if you could. Now, as for this room, maybe I should actually make a bank of of equipment racks that people can purchase from. I mean, I'm tempted to say that out loud too. 
Uh, what I could do is I could set up a zone. Yeah, let's let's actually go ahead and manage an area. Let's make a new area, guests. So rename this one guests. There we go. And we shall set that zone up right now. So first and foremost, they can be in the guest room. Secondly, they can be wandering outside if they want to be. They are more than welcome to. They can also go into our rec room. So there we are. Um, they can go down here. They can, they can buy those things if they want to. I'm not going to stop them doing that. Uh, they can also buy... Um, if they want to buy wood, then <laughs> they can. Uh, let's just make sure that I've, everywhere they, they can go... I just want to make sure the doors are active in those places. I don't want them really going in there, though. Uh, I don't want them going in there. That's fine. Let's just... No... I'm not actually sure how the walls affect the allowed zones. Let's just leave those as is. Uh, build that out. They can go through there. That's fine. They can purchase anything they want in here. That is also fine. I could allow them in there. In which case, they'd be allowed to uh, buy anything they want. I could even allow them to purchase things from here. That is a little bit worrisome, I'll be honest, though. Um, but I'm going to do it, and we'll see how that goes. They may just buy all of my drugs. And uh, we'll see. We'll for science this. This one time, we're going to for science it. Guess you're allowed there. Make default. So now, hopefully, all guests are allowed in these areas. There you go. You can go wherever you want. Also, I would like to make sure that you can buy items in these areas so at this point you can go where where you want to in the colony and buy from the areas that i've made available to you um they are absolutely amazed by your hospitality they will visit again in a few days okay let's check this out um 35 not bad i would say not bad at all i'm pretty pretty pleased with that actually okay well, this will give me an opportunity to expand this area out a little bit more, because clearly, we, we, you know, we want uh, more guest barracks. Animals are grazing, which is fine. Uh, they're all having to pass by all the corpses, which is not as great. You know what? I think Dark Havoc is a special freezer. Mm. Yeah, I think it's I think it's high time we built a special freezer for Dark Havoc. And uh, we'll build that one right back there. Uh, we'll demolish that wall, but we will have loads of vents along it. So this this room can basically chill it down. Mental... Oh, no. Wake up bench, really. But we have researched methods of further turning sand, marsh soil, mud, marsh, ice, gravel into farmable soil. Allows plough soil to greatly increase, increase crop growth. There we go. That's what we wanted there. Now then, let's have a quick glance at what else we can have a look at in here. We could get hydroponics. Don't really need that at the moment. Refining, which would allow us to make um, fuel. But I would actually quite like to research brewing, because we're already making some hops. So it makes sense for us to get that set up. Oh, basic fuses, actually, would be super useful. Let's get that one going. Now, if we have a look at the garden... If we have a look at the garden tools... We can now plough soil. Plough soil for much improved growing conditions. Reclaim soil. Digs up sand, marshy soil, mud, marsh ice, gravel. We need dirt for that. Place soil, garden soil. Till soil to make a small improvement in growing conditions. Oh, does, oh plough soil needs a lot more. Uh, all right, well, let's... What do we care about the most at the moment? You know what, let's let's do it on this little area. Let's not sow this area. So once that is all dug up, we're going to use it as a bit of a test, I think. There we are, we've got another muffalo. Excellent, we'll get you over there. And the boom rat is not going to be falling to our cover ground. This is rather awesome. Overdose Miss Mini. Yeah. Miss Mini. Why are you in such a horrible mood? 
You'd only only just managed to get past your your wake up tolerance as well. <laughs> a bit frustrating, but oh well. Uh, right, so we've got all of these rooms. We can set up a new bedroom over there. That is something that we can work on. We've also got... Jaradan just made a smoke leaf chart and just enjoyed himself as well. And I think with that, we're going to wrap up this episode. We've got a lot of things that we're going to actually need to do. I really, really do want to set up a better area for storing corpses, though. That is a pretty high priority. And if we can continue to uh, butcher the dead, that would be great. But that is going to be it from us. Oh, no, Miss Minnie has developed an addiction to wake up. She now has a need for wake up. Visible on her needs tab, she will automatically consume the drug to fulfill her need. If she can't get any wake up, she will go into withdrawal. It was going to happen eventually. Ugh, Miss Minnie. You scallywag, you. But oh well, that is going to be it from me. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and will be joining me in the next. As always, remember to like if you liked, sub if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.